What's up guys? Welcome back. So yeah, your boy's in the car right now. We're actually heading down to the shop. I'll explain to you guys what the heck is going on once we get there. Guys, we are officially back and we're at the garage. You guys can see both the buttes right there, the quad tip 128 and the dual 435i. I know we didn't do much to this car, but I just love how this car eventually came out. This is why it sucks. Between both these cars, I'm already gonna tell you guys the 128 is what we're gonna have to let go to make sure we can get you guys the giveaway car. I can't afford insurance on three cars. It's absolutely impossible for me in my current situation, especially with the garage and other bills like that. So I will be having to let go of the 128. I'm gonna be going down a price breakdown of how I got it to look like this in a little bit. But yeah, the 128 is what we're selling. I'm not gonna try to clickbait you guys. Keeping the 435, of course, we're actually keeping it for a very, very long time. If we're gonna be pushing some mad power on this thing, I don't think I'm gonna end up selling. It's actually the reason why I financed that one, so I don't sell it. I don't have a choice, you know, I'm, I'm stuck with a four year term, so I'm stuck with it for at least four years. So yeah, guys, the 128 was an absolute joy of a build, but to be honest, there's not much we could do to it. Let me go ahead and tell you guys all the mods we've done to the 128 so far. As you guys can see right off the bat, we have a black spoiler, it ain't carbon, but it looks super good. I think it's probably one of the best style spoilers you can get on the one series we have the quad tip exhaust the 1m bumper all paint match this also has a muffled delete and it's custom routed all four of these tips are linked to the exhaust system this isn't just for show so this looks super sick <laughs> i just can't get over this rear end if only this was a 1m but hey it looks good it's a great daily you guys also known that we also wrap the roof so this looks super good probably one of my best roof wraps i've ever done you guys can see it's not peeling anywhere i think this looks super good all edges are really well done and you guys know on the front when i first got the car it came with the 1m style front bumper and also came out with black grills these aren't painted these are actually gloss black which are super nice the car already has tints which is really cool a lot of my e90s didn't come with tints at all so this actually comes with this tints i think this is this sports package coming around to the interior you guys know that i did the m trim on this thing i love the m trim this came out super sick when it comes to features you guys know this is endless you know sports red interior backup sensors heated seats dct paddle shifters positive negative and the best part of it guys the best part about this car Look at this 45,000 miles. I've only driven it for a thousand miles. No lights on the dash. This thing's already passed smog perfect running condition look how clean this engine bay is guys shout out to jonathan and shout out to one of you guys for sending out this afe intake this is also this is the full afe intake this looks super good i think this is dipped in carbon but it came out in a beautiful finish and i think these things alone run about 500 dollars. that's an insane intake shout out to one of you guys for sending that out so yeah, when it comes to the 128 there's not much you can do the engine the intake is one of them but not really that much i love this car and when i bought it it was such a good deal i just couldn't pass it up and i really want to do the rear end conversion that I've seen a few people do. So I really want to do it on the channel for you guys to show you guys that it is possible. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't afford to keep this, this, and get the giveaway build for you guys and get the drift build again for the channel eventually. I'm going full send on this guy and we have to get you guys a pretty decent giveaway car. I don't want to get you guys you know, a junkie 200,000 mile E90. I want to get you guys something like 150,000 miles or less. Preferably clean title. Probably a newer year. I mean, even an LCI. And if we could find a twin turbo, that'd be amazing. Anyways, let me go ahead and move these two cars before I get in trouble. This isn't in front of my garage. Oh my God, guys. Look at that booty. This looks so good. Damn. But before we let it go, of course we have to enjoy it for just a little bit. And just in case anything goes wrong, we'll make sure to get it fixed before it goes out to any of you guys. See if we can do a burnout on this thing. I don't know if it's gonna do one wheels or two wheels. We'll go ahead and try it. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh man, it sprays shit all over you guys. <laughs> Come on, let's be a little realistic here, guys. So you guys saw it. It's pretty much it. The revs are not that bad. It's actually a muffled delete, so it sounds pretty good. I'm not going to go super crazy on this because it's still a daily, and you guys know that end of the day, we're actually selling her, so I, things happen in life. If you guys want another car on the channel, we got to sacrifice one. That's how it is. Damn. Let's go ahead and do a quick little burnout. I want to see if this thing's capable of doing it. It's not 
bad, but I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I only heard one of the wheels spin, so shit happens in life. It's a 128. Don't expect any more than that, but I mean, it's good enough. Anywho, I don't want to beat on it too hard. Let's go ahead and turn off the DTC before I skid it into a wall. We need, we got to get you guys the giveaway build, so. Real quick though, let's go ahead and rip it down the road and see if we can get some pops going from the inside, from the inside. This is insane, honestly, for a 128. If you guys are ever to get an N52, this would definitely be the chassis to get it on. But honestly, like, it is the lightest N52 chip platform I'm pretty sure you can get. I don't know if the Z3s are N52s, but I'm pretty sure they're not. You guys let me know down below. Oh dear. It rips, guys. It rips. Let me know what kind of cars you guys want for the giveaway cars. So let's actually think about a few possible options. So we have the Z3, which is one of the ones I want to get. The Z4, it's actually one of the ones that I'm kind of leaning towards. Trying to get a convertible on the channel. E46, an E46, but one that's a way better shape than this, preferably manual. Or an E36, possibly an E90. I don't know, I'm kind of over the E90 stuff. I've done so much on the channel. I kind of feel like you guys want a little bit of something different. If I was to get an E90, it'll probably be a 330i 2006, the exact same one that started the channel. So let me know down below, guys, what you guys want to see happen. So that was that. I know. I don't know if you guys want me to sell it but if you guys want the giveaway car it has to be done i know it's a beauty i love the car so much it's so mint low mileage perfect shape nothing wrong with it but i want to get you guys a pretty decent giveaway car and i want to be able to i want to be able to fund it as much as i can and do as much mods to it as i can so you guys will have a really nice car anyways i got a few calls some of you guys want some parts off the e46 let's go ahead and pull off the sunroof the fender headlights taillights and the side mirrors yeah we gotta get all that stuff and take it with us because you guys want them i'm starting for super cheap if you guys have any parts off the e46 let me know that friend Let's go ahead and move some parts off the E46. Basically, I got the sunroof out. So uh, the sunroof is pretty much all that we needed. I already have the rest of the parts over there, so we're good to go. Now that we got the sunroof out and uh, we already had the tail lights, the headlights, and the side mirrors out. So now all we gotta do, my car. So I don't know if you guys know, but I got new wheels and they were missing some lug nuts. I went ahead and got four, a set of four locking lug nuts. Better safe than sorry, and I needed four lug nuts anyways. I might as well get the locking ones. And the key actually fits in the trunk just fine. So let's go ahead and install that real quick. Yeah, so I tried putting on these locking lugs and they're not going to work because the, the key head is a little too big for these aftermarket wheels. So 
that kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Uh, it's whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and order another stock bolt. I mean, when I actually lower this, nobody's gonna be able to take them off, so <laughs> it's all good. Meantime, you guys have been telling me to replace these plates, at least the plate frames. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down in uh, Jonathan's, you know, fancy little workspace. Look at that, dang. This is where Jonathan films all his videos. Now it's not the necessary time to wear some gloves. Let's take these off. And yes, I wore a white jacket when doing car stuff. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little price breakdown. I went ahead and picked up the car for 5,800 for those of you guys who are new to the channel. The car was already a great deal for 5,800. Perfectly, there was nothing wrong with the car. And that's how much it cost me to actually purchase it. With registration taxes and all that stuff, it came out to be out the door to own the car it was about $6,200 to have it under my name. With the bumper, the bumper was about 380. We'll just round that up to 400. So adding another $400, it makes it 6,600. To paint that bumper, I think it was roughly 200. To paint the bumper was $200. That's actually a really good deal. So now we're at 6,800. Then we got the spoiler, which is about a, roughly about 100 bucks. was 80, but we can sum it up to 100 bucks. So now we're at 69. Then the exhaust work, the exhaust work, muffled wheat, everything with the tips and all that good stuff was about, I think it was $300 since I cut off the muffler myself. It would have been $450, but you know, your boy saved a little bit of money cutting off the muffler himself. And I got some new tools. So it was a win-win in general. So yeah, it was about $300. So now we're at $7,200 to have the car, that's how much I spent. That's of course, with mis that's without miscellaneous things. The trim for the steering wheel is about 50 bucks because it's 7,150. I'm sure there's a lot, of, a lot of other mini stuff here and there that cost me some money. So we'll just add an extra 50 bucks there. $7,200 is what I'm into this car to make it look like that outside, which looks absolutely insane for a 128. I think it's honestly the best spec, best looking 128 you can find, especially it has the soul of warranty. For those of you guys who don't know what the soul of warranty is, I'll pop up a picture right here. It's basically a warranty from BMW that I to 150,000 miles. Any for, if you get a check engine light for any reason, and they will cover it underneath the warranty, which is super nice of them. So yeah, basically, um, this car sells a 105,000 mile warranty from BMW, which is insane because of the mileage. So true, it is a salvage title, but this is still covered under warranty because it's the solid model, which is great. So yeah, I'm about at $7,200 roughly, plus or minus maybe just a little bit. I'm putting up the car personally for $8,000. I haven't ever profited in any of my BMWs. Actually, my M3, I took about an $8,000 loss on that car. I don't normally profit any of my cars. But this one, I'm just gonna try to, I'm just gonna try to profit the 800 so I can add that to the giveaway build. I wanna make my giveaway budget about three to $4,000 just to get the car, and then obviously do a lot of nice sick mods to it for you guys. So yeah, I am, I am adding an extra 800 to the price tag, but that's gonna come right back to you guys. I'm not keeping any of that $800. To the general public, I'm actually gonna put it up for 9,500. So you guys are probably gonna see it for 9,500. That's because it's what the car is worth. It's honestly worth $9,500 easy. So I'm putting it up for 95, but for any of you guys, Guys who want to purchase the car, I'm only going to try to ask for eight flat. So if you guys want to get the car for eight flat, only 45,000 miles in mint condition, full spec, and you guys, it looks like that. I mean, that's insane. That's a gorgeous red interior sports package. So yeah, if you guys want this car, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. The pink is under my name. Two keys. Yeah, salvage title, two keys. It's pretty insane. Anyways, guys, this is gonna conclude the video. I know it's the holiday, so you guys should go spend the time with your family. Same thing I'm gonna be doing. I'm actually preparing for a big trip. I'm going off to Canada, which is absolutely insane. So I might actually try to plan two or one or two more videos before I leave. And as soon as we get back, we'll be getting back to my brother's 328. We'll be finally installing the suspension on my 435. And guys, I'm telling you, this suspension's insane. I'm overhyping it because it deserves to be overhyped. And then hopefully we're gonna get you guys giveaway project as soon as I get back from this trip as well. I think I'm gonna be gone from January 1st to January 6th. A little time frame for you guys. So I'm gonna try to plan out a few other uploads so I won't leave you guys without an upload the entire trip. It's just a little family trip while you know it's, it's Thanksgiving, it's Christmas break. Have a good time, you know? Plus you guys know YouTubers don't have a, a weekend. You, you work every single day or every other day. So I'm just having a little family trip. Please, please don't mind. Anywho, I love you guys so much. If any of you guys want to purchase the car and be featured on the channel, make sure to let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. What I'm telling you guys is a perfect car. It's absolutely perfect. There's no issues, and I'm guaranteeing that. Anywho, <laughs> I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one, and peace out.